would dad what if you offer just a testimonial put that, if I sent it? What if you just put that away and we moved on to yeah, some, the, the memorial? That's what I was going to say. Just <laughs> put that over to the side. Look at that. Michael. Look. I, his priorities are elsewhere, honey. Billiard balls. That's the only kind of balls your dad's interested in seeing, clearly. <laughs> a cup of coffee with my with mom. My mom. Did you see my windsock, Mom? My very professional mm-hmm. windsock from my microphone? I, no, I didn't. Let's see. Here, let me show you what's going on. It's been making Chuck crazy because my peas pop sometimes. They're very plosive. Oh. And this is this is a wind. This is typically what, what comes with the mic, right? So you put this on the mic <laughs> to avoid oh. those those problematic peas. Oh, right? come on. Like that. Right. But that still wasn't enough. Preposterously, it still pops. And Chuck, being a pedant, points it out predictably. Mm. So what I did was I took my actual sock like this. He literally took it off his foot, Peggy. <laughs> Not oh, kidding. poor boy. Yeah. He's, in, huh? he's got one sock on. I was literally, I've I was on a... Uh, I was on CNN the other night, or maybe it was Fox. What's the difference anymore, right? And uh, <laughs> somebody in the booth was doing like this mic check, and they're like, "Is that a, is that a, is that a sock on your microphone?" <laughs> Said, "Damn, Skippy, it is." No, nope, he's should I get a here. sock? No, no, no. You're good. Put some you're pantyhose on it. <laughs> I don't wear pantyhose anymore. When'd you stop? I don't know. When I stopped wearing dresses and skirts, because when you're wearing slacks, you can just wear the um, the half hose that come up to your knees. Mm-hmm. Oh, you wouldn't do they give, know about that. Do, do they give support, those hose? I mean, is that why you wear them? Um, like the no, eyes? not the short ones, um, but you can get pantyhose that are a support hose. And they're very difficult to pull on because there's a lot of resistance. You know, you have to really pull. And I have these arthritic hands, so... It's difficult for me. Well, that's why I, I had to bite like dad's there, standing by. <laughs> I had to bite my tongue through that whole thing about the hose and what they're giving and blah, blah, blah. Oh, so. oh really? Okay. Yeah. So, well, he's <laughs> thinking hose, like those dirty hose, H-O apostrophe S, slang for no, prostitutes. No, not Chuck. No, I'm not saying uh, yes, he uses not them. Me. I'm just saying that's no. what he was thinking of. <laughs> Thank you, Michael. <laughs> Can't believe we got not not even a, two minutes in, and we're talking about my mother pulling up her pantyhose with her arthritic fingers. Yes, well, I mean there are support hose that you buy as support hose, and they they really are compression stockings. But I'm not sure you just use half ones. Although I have I've seen men here at the home wearing white compression stockings. The They're men, so men love attractive. The hose. They love to use yeah. the hose. I love the hose. <laughs> no, look, you'll laugh. I I actually have some. Some sock company called like Thorax, I think. I really think they're called Thorax, which sounds like a, a character in a Dr. Seuss book. No, that's a Lorax. Yes. But I think they're called Thorax, right? They just out of the blue sent me socks. And they're like hiking socks and there's some short ankle, like, you know, running socks, I guess. But they also have these very comfortable socks that come up right to the top of my knee and they're thick and they're tight. And I put them on the other day. And, you know, I'm walking around the neighborhood here, taking my normal walk, but now I got a, a ruck, a rucksack that I put 30 pounds in, and it's really changed my whole workout, Mom. And it makes my feet hurt, because like Dad's, they're flat, right? So I put on these socks, and man, they, they really did change everything. But on the downside, you really look like a goober, walking around <laughs> with white socks. Did you have short here. pants on? I did. I did. Oh, Michael, I hope nobody took your picture. But you are in your 60s and you are old enough to live here at the home. That line got a really funny laugh when I was speaking um, at the awards ceremony. Oh, they call that a humble brag, Mom, but nice the way you just shoveled that in there ever so effortlessly. (laughs) When I was speaking to my people recently. When I I won this award, uh, the people were very delighted. I I casually mentioned, you know. Can you see my Emmy okay, Mom, from where you Uh, (laughs) (laughs) Oh, Michael? Why don't you put a sock over it, hon? <laughs> no, you should tie a ribbon around it or something because it really blends in with the background. Well, it is gross, but I put a MicroWorks trailer hitch on top of it. So oh, I oh, okay. That, that kind of takes the piss out of it a little bit, right? You know. Now you be proud of that, hon. Yeah, all right. I will be. Thank you. One day I will be proud of my Emmy. Right now, I'm simply proud of my mommy. Oh, isn't that nice? I've never won any awards ever. 
What? Well, you're a three-time best-selling yes. author. Look, it's I up know, there on my wall where I can see New your York first New York Times book. best-selling author. Yeah, that's what are you true. talking about? Oh, and that's wonderful, and that's enough. But I don't have a statue. All right. Well, hold on. Let me make a note. Mom needs a statue. Yeah, we'll get, <laughs> no, we'll get you one. So go ahead. There you were speaking to the beloved masses and you got a <laughs> laugh. Would you say? Well, it was just a few hundred people at the scholarship ceremony. You know, our wait. We might have talked about this in the last podcast. Our wait staff are students, high school mm-hmm. students, mm-hmm. and they get a very nice um, scholarship at the end of three or four years here. So they have a ceremony at the end of the year and people speak. And I was one of the speakers. And uh, my goal was to make them laugh. There were 33 of them. <clears throat> and they were just sitting very quietly and seriously. So I did. I, I made them laugh. But one of the things I said was that 61 years ago, my husband and I had our first son. And I like to remind him from time to time now that he is old enough to move here into the home. And everybody laughed. And then I said, but he's not really interested yet. <laughs> that's, that's true. I mean, I love coming for a visit, but no, I'm, I'm, I'm not right up. I'm, I'm just not ready for hatchet throwing season, perpetual bocce ball, pool tournaments <laughs> around the clock and pickleball and whatever else you're doing over there. Mm-hmm. Chair volleyball. Yeah. Oh, uh, Jeanette, how's she doing? <laughs> you know, I think I'll go back and play with them again. I've, I only played with them that one time, but <clears throat> somebody invited me just yesterday, and they play on Monday evening, so I might go back on Monday and see how they're doing. <laughs> they, were fun, they were fun people. I got, I got so many notes after you told that story months ago. Did you? If you're, yeah, for those of you who don't know what we're talking about, at the home where my folks live, there's a sweet old lady named Jeanette who was playing chair volleyball. <laughs> Except she wasn't really playing because she just, <laughs> she's very old. And she just sat in the chair and, you know, every now and then a beach ball would ricochet off of her and go over the net and she would laugh and people would clap. And I think the visual just, just filled people with delight. And, <laughs> and they, uh, you know, they love those well, stories. Well, I think some people might have felt that it was elder abuse, but it wasn't. Well, sure. Because the alternative would be that Jeanette is sitting in her room. Maybe yeah. looking out the window or just. just and no one's her hitting her with a giant that. ball. You know? That's right. So, no, elder abuse is like it's a soccer ball or a basketball. <laughs> right. Or, or a softball. A, or a softball. That's rough. It's a beach ball. Yeah. No, it isn't even a beach ball. It's, it's between a beach ball and a balloon. It's that light, really. Wow. You could, with one finger, you could punch it back. So when it hit her in the back of the head, it was like somebody just tapping her, you know, in the head. But the funny part was, but after it hit her on the forehead and bounced back over the net, mm-hmm. everybody on both teams were saying, yay, Jeanette, good for you, nice hit, Jeanette. Good shot. And then, and then after it hit her on the back of the head and flew back, the guy hit it over the net again, hit it again, and it went over the net. And then everybody yelled, nice assist, Jeanette. That's an assist, Jeanette. Jeanette Absolutely. nice assist. And... Really, the, the smile on her face said it all. She, she might not have known the rules or exactly what she was playing, but she knew that everybody was looking at her with appreciation and applauding her efforts, and it was fun. Oh, God. All right, well, let's, let, let's just forge boldly into, into what we like to call new content. What is new? How was your week? I, I actually haven't talked to you in real life at length and in a few days. Sorry about that. Well, something pleasant happened this morning. Um, For Dad's 90th birthday back in November, you might recall that you presented him with, I don't even know what it's called. It's a picture frame, and it's electronic, and you plug it in, and your family sends you pictures, and they come up on the screen. Well, Dad and I put it on the shelf back in November, and we never did set it up because... I did pick up the directions one day, and I said, ugh, and I put it back on the shelf. Well, one of our nice employees here today uh, came up today, and you must have mentioned it in in a previous podcast that you had given us one of those things. Well, I, yes. I just got one, finally, and you hooked did. it up. Well, they're, I mean, shameless plug, but they're sponsoring the podcast now. So, so I got one. And I hooked it up, 
and it's we're basically talking about a digital picture frame, which is not a new thing, but this I think is like the state of the art one. So I took hundreds of photos off of my phone and you know, they just cycle through. You can do it like every 15 or 30 or 45 or 60 seconds or whatever. So, I mean, they really look like prints, you know, so it's nice. You got this frame and it, it just changes every mm-hmm. every couple seconds or whenever you want. Well, it nobody to. has sent me any pictures yet, so I'm waiting. Well, I you sent just it hooked it up my... like a minute ago. Give it a, you know, you, you, you can take the pictures off your phone, off dad's phone, right? Anybody can I interact I sent an invite with. to everybody in our immediate family. Well, well, I'm sure somebody will get back to you. I hope so, because there's only one picture on there. It's a pretty, pretty flower on there right now. No, that's the that's the saddest thing in the world to have a digital picture frame that can accommodate literally thousands <laughs> of photos, and you only have one. I know, but like you say, it's just well, it actually has been a couple of hours. Well, I mean, I I'm I think it's unlimited. I'm still getting used to mine, but I think it like it uses the cloud, right? So it's just it does, and I. And I think I have the option, I can delete pictures, you know, that I'm tired of looking at, that I've seen a lot, can delete them. Oh, you know I'm anxious to of, see what happens. Spe- you know, if we're going to do shameless plugs, I want to get your opinion on something. We have, a, we have another sponsor that just signed on called Manscaped. Manscaped? Have you heard of them Manscaped, before? Manscaped, yes. Yeah. No? Here, let me show no. you this thing. This is what I see, right? I opened the box. I just got this the other day. And this is the, that's what they hit you with right out of the gate. <laughs> Can you read that? No, I can't. Oh. Your. Here, let me get a, cl- a little closer. Can you read it now? Your, f- will thank you. Your balls will thank you. Your <laughs> balls right. will thank you. Your balls oh, will it, thank so, you. So what do you put in there, like bocce balls or? No, mom, no. Good guess, though. So. Very good guess. This is a whole, it's a series of trimmers designed for men who wish to uh, improve the uh, landscape of their topiary reality. Like you got oh, a nose. Oh, for goodness. <laughs> you got oh, a nose, my. like for your nose hair, for your ear hair. Yeah. And you got this thing, uh, they call it a lawnmower, and they've got... Um, Which is for uh, unwanted body hair. Unwanted okay. body That's hair. That's the way right. to say it. Gotcha. You've got Shave, something you know, called a crop back. preserver and um, ball deodorant. I'm not making it up. This is like, these are special clippers designed specifically for men who want to shave their testicles, which apparently is like a thing now. How did we get here? On I haven't heard of one. <laughs> well, they don't talk about <laughs> They we don't from- talk about it here at the home. Well, I haven't heard about it. Well, let's change it. Let's change it right now because honestly, I don't know what to do. I know you listen to this podcast. Hell, you're on this podcast. And if you listen to other podcasts, like there are hundreds of hosts out there right now talking with remarkable candor and in a lot of detail about the various benefits of shaving their scrotums. And this entire package here comes with all sorts of different things to make that experience um, uh, more efficacious, I suppose, right? Less likely to nick yourself, right? So it's a, it's a much uh, safer way to get the hair off of your, your testicles. My question is, how can, I, how can I talk about this in a way that would, I don't know. I don't want to offend you or anybody else who's listening, but the basic product Too is light. designed. Yeah, it's a little your- late. Huh? Okay. <laughs> I say uh, your audience is elsewhere. If, if somebody likes... To have me on the podcast, then they're not going to enjoy hearing about that. That's just my opinion. Well, I, I, I don't know. I mean, I think people trust you. I think people trust Dad. I'm. We actually. Hang on a second. I think I got. Two actually, of your father. You, you know, as you as you age, unwanted hair on the face does become a problem, and you do have hair growing out of your ears and on the top of your ears and out of your nose and around your eyebrows well that's what i'm telling you i've used the nose trimmer in both the nose and the ear and it works it works great oh well that's nice this other thing this lawnmower 4.0 i'm gonna i'm gonna try it but i don't know to what extent you know like it's an awkward thing to endorse when you know your mother is listening 
is all exactly. I'm and you know what? You don't have to tell me the results. Um, what if? What if you I can send keep it you, to yourself? Can I send you one of these? And you I can thought give you were going to send me a picture on my new frame. <laughs> no, thank you, hon. Can you imagine if that just showed up and Mike is manscaping <laughs> a video? Maybe. No, oh God. A, no. A, a before and after. Uh. <laughs> Recognize these, Mom? Well, 60 years ago, they looked a lot more like these. <laughs> oh, shame on you. Shame on you. I, <laughs> and I was going to talk about the Memorial Day concert, but <laughs> well, well, we can get lost to that. my incentive. <laughs> Look, they got a light on it, right? So you really you can get, do you it can... in the dark? <laughs> well, no, but... We... <laughs> you wake up in the middle of the night and say, oh, I forgot to... <laughs> I'm thinking, but... When, when you're down there, so it's, look, I mean, p- guys are making, like, designs on their Come abdomen on. and all oh, through okay, their hair. Um, you mean, like, they're putting, body like, sculpture? Tigers. Yes, they're using body sculpture with this thing. They're making all sorts of interesting designs below the belt. Uh, some are going full on and, like, really trimming everything, just gone. And others are using... Can some we sort watch of artistic. What you're doing with it? First of all, turn it off and get it away from the microphone because Sorry. you've already yes, hit it. Please. Twice. But you know what? No, no peas are popping. Thanks to my handy dandy. Anyway, um, what if I just? I mean, would Dad what if you offer just a testimonial that, if I send it? What if you just put that away and we moved on to yeah, something? That's the what Memorial I was going to say. Just <laughs> put that over to the side. Hey man, no, don't just send it to Chuck. your father. What's because the offer? It will, Where do people go to get one of these things? It Let's will just come with a manual. Uh, it, it does come with a I manual. Think, it, it actually <laughs> comes with like all sorts of stuff. Okay. Look at this. Right. You get, look at this, Mom. You get a case that says Manscaped that you can put all these things in. It's like an awesome traveling thing. Oh, look, yeah. Cause... They, send, <laughs> they have a whole newspaper. I got to send this to Dad. He's going to love this. Look at that Michael. One. Look, I, his priorities are elsewhere, honey. What Nowadays, we're talking about billiard balls. That's the only kind of balls <laughs> your dad's interested in seeing, clearly. <laughs> <laughs> and the bocce, right? The bocce. Oh, my God. Well. Bocce balls the bocce and balls. billiard balls. Yeah, the bocce oh balls God. and the billiard the, balls. Yeah, this is it. <laughs> I'm gonna send you this, Mom. Here, I gotta make my screen bigger. Like, we say looking at here. This is no, yeah. It'll be bigger when, when, when it's on when it's made into a video. So, oh, good. Well, I can't fun. see it now. Yeah, this is all. Uh, I mean, what will Dad do if I send him this whole kit along with these instructions, along with this newspaper? A, will he appreciate it? B, will he use it? And C, if he uses it, will he come on the podcast to talk about? <laughs> the impact of a freshly shaved area. No, 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 and no. (laughs) Honey, he's 90 years old. His priorities lie elsewhere. 